Using his extraordinary psychic ability to communicate with spirits, he's transformed lives by unlocking mysteries and sharing secrets from the other side. James Van Prague, best-selling author, renowned medium, and your connection to the world beyond. I'd like to begin over here, if I might, please. Would you mind standing? There's a man standing behind you, and um, I feel it's a father figure that's next to you, okay? But he's coming in very, very strong, and as I'm walking down here, he said, would you please come to me, please come to me? So I want to come to you, okay? You. Do you have a house near a beach? Yes. I feel as though, from spirit, he was influential with getting you get that house, mm -hmm. and he's saying to me that you didn't, <laughs> you were very shocked or surprised when you got this house or something and how you got the house. Right. I know mother's worried about breast cancer. Yes. She's but he curious. wants me, and her mother's passed over also. She because there? he's telling me, uh, mother, your mother's here. Her mother's here, your grandmother's right here. Good. And she's right with you and unbelievable. This lady is larger than life. She's huge. Yeah, she is. And um, <laughs> larger than life. And she keeps on saying, I haven't stopped giving, giving to you from Good. here. Because she makes things for you all the time that like grandmothers would do. But she was kind of like, she stepped in when your dad was not there. Yes. You understand yes. that? She was like the surrogate uh, daddy. And she taught you many, many things. She taught you at home, she's telling me, mm -hmm. with books and started to read with you. She taught yes. you about reading. Right. Right? Yeah, she taught and me. And I gotta tell you, there are two children. Not sure if you have them yet or not. Yes, I do. Thank you. Yeah. It's hard for me to tell people that, and they, oh God, really, we have kids, so. <laughs> but she wants me to tell you that they're being watched over by her. Excellent. And you wanted that, you asked her to watch over them. And one of the deliveries was very difficult. Yes. I understand that. Yes. And she said, I was there for you. Don't worry. I was there. You weren't going to go anywhere. <laughs> you weren't going to go anywhere. Um, there's also, um, I'm interesting, boats with you or a boat. Uh -huh. And she loves that you go in the boat. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Okay. Um, you are never alone. Good. You're never alone. And your kids are blessed. And you are also blessed. Okay? So I'll leave you with that. Thank okay? you. God Thank bless. Thank you very much. I want to come to this, uh, these people here, this lady, and this, yeah, and this man. Are you all one family? Because there's a man standing here. Did you lose your husband? There's a man here standing here, very connected to you. I'm not sure who this is. I'm not sure if it's a brother of yours or past? Yes, yes, could be. OK. You didn't expect to hear from me, he said. You're didn't right. You're right. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> didn't expect to hear from me. Um, but he's here. He's here. I also feel a heart condition very strong. So I don't know who passed over the heart attack. Cancer. Who, your brother? Yes. Was it in the chest area? Yes. Okay, sorry, I thought it was hard. Was it right in the lungs? Yes. Miserable, he said. He said, I was miserable. I was the worst patient ever. And he goes, I just wanted to die and get it over with. I didn't want nothing about, nothing about it. He didn't like people washing him. Mm -hmm. And um, you know he hated that, right? Okay. Yes. Um, do you like to read mystery novels? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about you putting a book down, and he said she has a whole bunch of them at home. And he said you don't finish them. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I will read all but the last page. <laughs> okay, because you don't finish them, he said, okay? I'm gonna tell you there's trouble with a kidney here. He's referring to trouble with a kidney. I'm coming to you with that, okay? Because you need to have kidneys looked at. There's trouble with one of the kidneys. They don't feel like one is not working as well as the other one. Nothing to really worry about at all. It's so weird, hold on. He's talking to me about something here with you too, though. Her husband. Thank you. You're welcome. Your husband passed over? Okay. There's the man with you. All right. And he has the heart. And he had the heart condition. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird because I know what I'm getting and then it doesn't make sense. And I'm like, well, why am I picking up that? Or they're giving me that and it doesn't make sense. So the heart condition is you and your husband. And that's who you came to talk to today. Okay. Mom, I want to thank you for bringing her here. Thank you. Because he's thanking you for bringing her here. And he said, she didn't want to come. And you pushed her to come here. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, huh? Very much so this morning. Yes, yeah, very much so. <laughs> because you were afraid of coming, he's telling me here. And he's, he said, I don't understand that. You know, she's afraid of me. I, I lived with her. I loved her. Why would she be afraid of me? All right, I'll leave you with that. God bless Thank you all. You so much. Okay. 
lady is larger than life. Describe her to us. Larger than life, total matriarch of the family. My mother was widowed with five children, and she stepped in and helped raise us and, uh, you know, definitely laid the foundation for all our traditions. I know mother's worried about breast cancer. My mother had a bout with breast cancer a couple years back, and it seems like everyone was up there helping her through it and, and being there, being supportive for her. So that was really nice to hear, very touching. And one of the deliveries was very difficult. My oldest was a cesarean. She was breech, and during the delivery, I felt like I was suffocating, like I couldn't breathe. I was completely shocked that he came straight to me right away. And when he said they were standing next to me, it was just wonderful to feel that energy next to me. Now, does a brother of yours a past? Your brother dominated the reading. Yes, he did. I was so surprised that he came through because he was the last to pass. And I never expected him. Do you feel like you left some things unresolved when he died? I never got to talk to him before he died. And it, we only knew a short period of time that he had cancer just a couple of months, and um, so yes, I do feel like you need to talk. Do you like to read mystery novels? Nobody knew about the mysteries and that I never finished them. <laughs> <laughs> I, nobody knew that, nobody. I will now talk to, to my brother more, you know. I usually talk to my mother or grandmother, but I'll talk to Billy now.